Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today I wanted to go over uh, pre-filtration for a rain harvesting cistern system. Now we're based in Ohio and our specialty is underground cisterns. That's what uh, we have field expertise in underground rainwater cisterns. Um, we service them, we install them, um, and we sell products related to them. Um, so this is primarily for uh, pre-filtration for winter climates for underground rainwater storage. Now, if you are, um, it doesn't matter if you're planning to install a new cistern or if you have an existing cistern and want to add some pre-filtration, this is a great video for you. Um, if you're installing a new cistern, then there's no question that the YZ Vortex filter is 100% what you should be using for your system. Um, it's a fantastic filter. This unit, this is the YZ Vortex filter. It can be mounted above ground. It can be mounted to the side of a house. You can put a, a stand mounted to the face of your house and um, have that on there. Or it can go underground and we have risers for it. Um, so you can bury it up to 20 inches below grade. Uh, it's really a versatile filter and a great uh, option for pre-filtration. Now the way it works is that the water comes into the inlet here, spins around a stainless steel screen inside, heavy sediment and the first flush of water sink to the bottom and go out this what we call a trash outlet. This will daylight out to a, a, a low spot in your, on your property. All that debris and first flush water will get flushed out. Then the clean water goes out this middle port into the cistern. This is this swivels, so there's some versatility there. But you'll notice that the height of this, where the water comes in, and where the clean water goes out to the cistern, there is an eight and a half inch difference between the, uh, the bottom of this and the bottom of this. So that's a pretty significant drop in, in elevation that you have to account for when piping it. And we have a lot of other videos that deal with this, including a video that overviews, uh, that's a review of an install that we did showcasing how this works. Um, so if you're putting in a new cistern, you want to use the YZ Vortex filter and you want to account for that eight and a half inch drop when your, your downspouts will converge will go into here and then that pipe elevation is going to drop and go to the cistern. Now if you're retrofitting an existing cistern, this may not be a great option for you because a lot of times um, in older cisterns, the downspouts are literally running right in to the cistern. From the downspout, bam, they're going right into the sidewall of the cistern and you, you can't make an eight and a half inch drop work in your pipe elevation. In which case we need to consider other options aside from the YZ Vortex. The most basic option um, is this aluminum downspout debris filter. This would mount on each of your downspouts. That you would cut out a section of downspout and insert this aluminum box in there. So your downspout goes into the top of this and continues out the bottom into your, your pipe that goes into the cistern. This is a great inexpensive filter. It's not going to do first flush like the Vortex filter will, um, but it will if you have asphalt shingles and you're, you have a cistern. This will stop those asphalt shingle granules from getting into your tank. This will stop, uh, God forbid, a, uh, let's say a bird um, dies on your roof and <laughs> goes into your downspout, which does happen on occasion. You want to make sure you have pre-filtration that will take that out and it's not getting into your rain cistern. And this will do just that. It will. The debris falls into this, into this front box. There's a clean out tray that you just lift out, empty the debris out, and insert it right back in. Um, this is a great pre-filter, very inexpensive, uh, right around $30. It's better than, um, uh, actually this company, Rain Harvesting, makes uh, what they call a gutter head 
that is a pre-filter. It doesn't have this box here. It's just a, a screen that, that comes down at a 45 degree angle. The reason we prefer this aluminum downspout debris filter over that gutter head screen is that what tends to happen with those gutter heads is that without this catch right here, a stick will get in that, in that screen, will stick there and uh, pop out and the water will ride that stick and it'll send water or leaves. If leaves get in there, trapped in there, the leaves will act as a, as a redirection point and will redirect downspout water straight out of the out of the gutter, out of the downspout instead of going through here. So having this catch right here and having a little clean out tray really does make it so that you're you're still gaining your water into the cistern. You're not risking losing it off the front. So this is the, the most inexpensive way to retrofit your your system. We also have a first flush filter kit. Um, which is, the basic principle is that you have, uh, instead of just routing your downspout directly into the cistern, you route it through this T-assembly. So the, the downspout comes in here, uh, you, you transition it to pipe uh, with a, an adapter like this, um, put an elbow in, Down, your downspout runs in, there's a, a stand pipe, just a, a section of pipe that goes down with a drain on the bottom. Um, and what it does is the water goes in here, goes into the drain, down here, this, this standpipe fills up during the rain event, and then the clean water continues into the cistern. And the idea is that the dirtiest water is going to be the water that comes off the roof initially, because that's going to have the highest sediment concentration, it's going to flush off the roof, that first bit of water is flushing off the roof. So you're directing that water into this standpipe instead of directly into the cistern. So this is a go-between before clean water enters the cistern. With this system, it, you still want some sort of debris catch up, up before the water goes into the first flush because you want to remove that large debris. And this is a great system, there's no doubt about it, but this is really, this is an Australian made product. It's designed for warm climates. So if you're in Texas, if you're in California, if you're in the Bahamas, yes, this will work great for you. If you're in our region or in the Northern climate where you're susceptible to freezing, this really is not a good option. We try to steer pe people away from it. It's better to just go with this um, than it is to try to rig this up because you, this is all, you're gonna have a standpipe full of water and while, yes, there is a bottom drain on it that will drain automatically, if that drain clogs up, if you have a rainfall in the wintertime where it's going in, it's 40 degrees, and then overnight it turns below freezing, and this drain pipe, the standpipe hasn't drained all the way, that's going to freeze, it's going to crack, and it's going to cause a problem. So this is really not a product for winter climates, unless you just have... Um, a seasonal rain tank that you're using. But if you want year-round storage and you're in a winter climate, stay away from this. <laughs> um, now, the, the, the fourth option is a, is a smaller assembly. This is a smaller version of the YZ Vortex filter. Um, uh, this is a downspout-mounted vortex unit that... Um, <clears throat> would just go on one single downspout. So you can, you don't have to worry about the, the elevation drop. You don't have to worry about converging all your downspout drains into one central place and then installing one of these. You can install a small version of the vortex filter on each downspout. Um, and again, uh, you would have to have some sort of pipe assembly with an adapter if you have rectangular downspouts to adapt your downspout into PVC. Um, but then what this does is it, it uses the same vortex technology. It spins through this centralized um, stainless steel unit. The water gets sucked in. It goes into this little, um, this little trough here. Uh, water goes through this, this stainless steel screen into this trough, into the sump, and then goes into uh, your cistern through this flexible hose. Now, this is a great great way to get first flush and thorough debris cleaning 
out of each downspout without having to install the vortex unit. The only downside is that this is primarily designed for an above ground tank, which is why it has this flexible hose. It's meant to, this flexible hose is meant to go into the side of the tank uh, instead of an underground cistern. So what you have to do is you just have to run two inch pipe up from your cistern and run this into the two inch pipe and silicone around it to get it, um, get it sealed off nicely. So there is, it's, it's a little, um, it's, it's a little awkward to, to install this, but again, if you want that, that thorough cleaning of the vortex unit, this is a great add on for your cistern. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this has been helpful and, uh, and uh, we appreciate any of your support. We have all these products on our website, rainbrothers.com and thank you so much for watching.